are back. Glad to have you guys back again for the second installment of FitScope's workout. So today, now we've already done a resistance band workout. This is very good to get some activation work in there. But now we're going to take it to the strength portion, which is going to be including more weight. So you guys should definitely lift heavy with this work that we're getting ready to get into. All right. Now, with that being said, we may need to make sure that, for one, we got to warm up. All right. So let's go ahead and widen that base. We're going to take it down to the left. Let's take it down to some windmills. There we go. Go ahead and get some arm circles in there. Keep that wide base. We're going to drop down to a deep squat. So bring those. There we go. Drop down to a deep squat. Get those glutes down. Push those knees out from your elbows. Hold it there. Good. Coming back up. Go ahead and shake those legs out. Get those shoulders back. All right, so this is what we got. So we're going to start off with single arm rows. They're going to be non-supported. So you're basically getting those hips back. You're going to load up on your weight. Get those hips back. Keep your back as flat as possible. Get your shoulders back. And then you're rolling that weight. Getting that elbow straight back. Squeeze those shoulder blades. And then you're going to get that good work. You're going to definitely feel it in those lats. All right. So we're going to start off with 12 on each side. And we're going to work our way down. All right. Let's try to at least get three sets of this work. Let's go. In three, two, one. Pick it up. There it is. Nice. Slow and control movements. Halfway. There you go. Come on. Give me two more. Good. Coming back up, we're going to switch sides. Get those hips back. Take it up. Nice. There we go. Set the tone. Set the tone for this strength portion. Last two. Excellent. Excellent work. All right. Now we're going to get into some incline flies. So this is where the bench comes in. So your bench, if you have not done so already, go ahead and get your bench to a nice incline, whichever level you prefer. You're going to sit back on that bench. You're going to get a slight bend in your elbows. You're coming out and bringing that weight right back up to the center. Keep your core engaged. Squeeze your chest at the top. We're going to knock out 12 here. Going in three, two, one. Pick it up. Good. Stay with me now. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. We've just begun. So you guys shouldn't even be anywhere near tired. Again, we're setting that tone. Keep it up. Two more. Last one right here. There you go. All right. Go ahead and rest those on for a quick second. Shake them out. And then we're going to take it back to seated curls. So again, you're grabbing that weight. Your palms should be turned facing the ceiling. And you're bringing that weight straight up into a curl and controlling it on the way down. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Again, stick with those 12 reps in three, two, one. Bring it up. Make sure you're squeezing those biceps. Feel that blood rushing through your arms. 
So those arms are going to be nice and tight after this workout. Walk around with your arms out. People are going to wonder, what have you been doing? You say you've been working. Even on my day off from work, I'm still putting in work. Good. Elbows tight. Breathe with that curl. Last one here. And go ahead and relax. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into a Bulgarian split squat. So again, you're gonna use that bench. Now we're gonna work these legs, all right? Specifically the quads. So for this split squat, you can load up your weight on your shoulders or you can keep them down here. Now let's say if you wanna work that core a lot more, load up on those shoulders. So you, what you wanna do is get one foot on the bench and you're gonna come out with that front foot. So your front foot should not be right in line with your hips, all right? You want that foot slightly forward. That way as you go down, your knees won't go beyond your toes. Hence not putting any unneeded or unwanted stress on those knees, all right? So we're gonna go down and take it down into that Bulgarian split squat, knocking out 12 and three, two, one, take it down. Good. Engage that core. Get that knee, that back knee back. Yeah. Fill it in those quads. Good. Last one. All right, we're gonna switch it up. Find that balance. If you find it difficult to find that balance, no worries. You can knock out a static lunge on the ground. Three more. Last one here. Perfect. Bring it down. Uh, I'm gonna take a sip of water. Feel free to do so too. We got another set coming. Uh. All right. So instead of 12, now we're dropping it down to 10. Let's get ready to work. Load up with that single dumbbell. We're getting right back into those rows. Going in three, two, one. Let's work. Engage that core. Last one here. Good. Make sure you guys are focusing on those lats. That's the muscle that should be working. You're getting a little bit of bicep work in there. Taking it to the opposite side. Nice. All right. Sit back into those incline flies. Remember that slight bend and those elbows. Open up as wide as you can get. Squeeze that weight together.
You gotta breathe out there. Make sure you're breathing. There it is. Come on. It's you versus you. Slight work. Good. Set that weight down. Shake those arms out. Open up that chest. I know you probably feeling it in those shoulders. Now it's time to get back into those curls. Want you guys having super arms. Here we go. Good. Keep it nice and tight. Retract those triceps on the way down. Give me four more. You got it. Last two. Bring it up. Come on. Get this last one in. There you go. Settle down. Oh yeah, you know what's coming next. Those very split squats. Wake those legs up. I want to switch up my grip. I want to keep them down here. So I did make a I made reference to if you don't, if you're not able to find your balance, you just can't get comfortable in that split squat position. Feel free to do a static lunge. So your legs stand back and you're staying here with it. All right, as opposed to having that leg up on the bench. But I'm gonna stick with those split squats. All right, remember, bring that front foot just past the hips and we're taking it down. Good. Come on, get there, get there. Big chest. There we go. We're gonna switch it up. We're jumping right into it. There you go. Keep that tension on those quads. You feel them burning? And it's okay. When the muscles burning, it's just letting you know that you're doing some work. Wouldn't be right didn't feel it. Last two. Last one here. Go ahead and set those weights down. That is it for our strength portion of the day. Four movements. Got in two sets. Went from 12 to 10. You got some good work in there. Hope you feel that pump, the blood rushing. We'll be right back to finish this off with a conditioning series. Stay tuned.